Dear Patriots, before the news starts, please, subscribe to our patriotic channel by clicking the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up to this video. Don't forget to leave your opinion below in the comments section. Share the news on Facebook and Twitter so you friends see it. Thank you. Right before flying to Texas today, Trump turned to Melania and did something very odd. President Trump is a gentleman. No matter what the media says about him. Get ready to see your president in the new light. Journalists are freaking out about what Melania Trump is doing in this picture below. President Trump and First Lady Melania Trump are spending their weekend going to Hurricane Batter, Texas. President Trump and Melania are fighting for the people of Texas. This is one of the worst natural disasters in history and this administration is working its butt off to help the people of Houston. Share this if you are proud of our president and are praying for the people of Houston. The media is not showing this side of President Trump. It's up to us to get this out there, y'all. Trump just walked up to tourists in White House, grabs baby, and does something tear-jerking. President Trump surprised visitors to 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue on Thursday. He walked into a room flanked by Secret Service members and made a beeline to a mother that handed him over. The crowd chanted, We love you. What Trump said next is wild. The president smiled when he heard the chants that said God bless you, Mr. President. He kissed the baby and then said enjoy the White House, everybody. The video was posted by Welsh tourist Sasha Davis and was posted with the following caption, Hey guys I'm an ad rattled in a drum. Trump is often seen kissing babies. He is no stranger to fatherhood. This is why we love him. He is an amazing president that is fighting every single for our country to be better. We cannot let him fight alone. Please share this if you are proud to have President Trump and don't believe for a second all the lies that the media tells about him. God bless our president. Comey doesn't want this video to get out, it shows him committing a horrible crime. Uh-oh. James Comey is in trouble. He certainly has some explaining to do. The former FBI director testified to Congress and said that he decided not to recommend charges on Hillary Clinton's case. Here is what Comey said that day under oath. He said the following single word that makes him so guilty. He said, after. Rep. John Ratcliffe's office issued the following statement. As a former federal prosecutor, I can tell you that it's unheard of for a potential key witness to be present when the target of an investigation is being interviewed. In fact, I've never seen it. And Comey admitted he's never seen it. The American people have every right to wonder why this occurred in Clinton's case, this isn't the treatment anyone else in our country would have received, and it frankly appears that the outcome of this investigation was predetermined from the start," Radcliffe said. Documents came out on Thursday that show that former FBI Director James Comey was crafting his exoneration statements before event interviewing Hillary Clinton, according to Town Hall. This means that Comey lied under oath. Share this everywhere immediately, patriots. The media will not hold this crook accountable. He perjured himself under oath. Don't let this die. Keep the MAGA energy high. Red Alert Kim Jong-un just unveiled his secret nuclear weapon that is horrifying. Today Kim Jong-un of North Korea unveiled his new secret nuclear weapon that makes everything else they have made look like child's play. North Korea says they have developed a super-powerful hydrogen bomb and can easily make more. But the news gets even worse from Korea. The same report from the DPRK clearly shows Kim Jong unloading the new hydrogen bomb onto an intercontinental ballistic missile. While this may have been nothing more than showboating, this could be the promise of a test or even worse, a direct threat that the new nuke will be launched. The North Korean news agency, KCNA, put out their own report along with the images that said, Kim Jong-un said he felt the pride at the indomitable bolstering up of, North Korea's, nuclear forces despite a great price as he watched the Juche-oriented thermonuclear weapon with super-explosive power made by our own efforts and technology. He expressed great satisfaction over the fact that our scientists can do anything without fail if the party is determined to do. The scientists further upgraded its technical performance at a higher ultra-modern level on the basis of previous successes made in the first H-bomb test. So far there has been no proof of the bomb's power but knowing North Korea they will show it off if they really can. Help share this everywhere so people know the West Coast is not safe right now.
Condoleezza Rice just snapped and said one thing about North Korea that has Trump cheering like crazy. Former Secretary of State to George W. Bush, Condoleezza Rice, just gave huge words of support for Trump's stance against North Korea. Speaking at the Library of Congress Book Festival on Saturday, she said, What the administration is trying to do, and I support what they're trying to do, is they're painting a very bleak picture for the Chinese, she continued. That's the only country with any real leverage on the North Koreans. She explained that China is concerned that, should the North Korean regime fall, there will be a refugee crisis in their country. She went on to say, I think at some point the American president, and I'm not inside so don't know what he's being told about how long he has, but at some point if you're threatening Guam and already firing missiles over Japan, we're getting pretty close to a denouement, we're getting pretty close to a president having to make a decision. She also remarked about how Kim Jong-un backed down from his threats against the U.S., after Trump said that he would respond with fire and fury. She said she believes that someone in China must have talked sense into Kim Jong-un after that. Trump has been trying to get China to do the right thing for some time. If you agree that Trump knows how to handle this reckless bully, please share everywhere and comment I trust Trump. H. T. The Hill Busted the lie Comey just got caught telling will land him in jail. It was never ever really in doubt that James Comey let Hillary Clinton go during his investigation of her emails during the election and new documents seem to point to that conclusion. James Comey in a memo showed that he had seemingly made up his mind on Hillary Clinton's verdict before actually seeing any evidence and was just going through the motions. But that isn't the worst news for James Comey. Not only are his lies exposed for real, but the memo also shows that he perjured himself when he went in front of Congress to testify on his investigation. Comey told Congress that he decided not to recommend any charges after he interviewed Hillary Clinton on July 2, 2016 but he made that decision months before the interview. James Comey just got the worst news of this life. Not only is a confirmed liar then let Hillary Clinton go, but now his lies just made him break the law. It must be hard to keep up with all the lies when that's all you tell. This also further points to the ridiculous nature of Robert Mueller's investigation still going on. Mueller is directly connected with Comey, friends with him, and using Comey's memos to open the new investigation into Trump. This shows once again that the Mueller investigation should be shut down and Comey should be in jail. As Chris Farrell said, Comey showed signs that he had made up his mind on the Hillary Clinton investigation months before its conclusion. That he would let Hillary go. The Democrats and Mueller are doing this again now but have already made up their minds before having any evidence that Trump is guilty. Of what? It seems to change every week without any evidence. Comey has just been caught red-handed and hopefully his lies are enough to put an end to all of the Russian investigation nonsense for good. Comey can't be allowed to get away with this. H.T. The Gateway Pundit Paul Ryan just tried stabbing Trump in back, instead got caught in Trump's ultimate trap. House Speaker Paul Ryan says that the president should keep President Barack Obama's DACA program even though he previously said that Obama did not have the legislative authority to do what he did. Ryan told a Wisconsin radio show on Friday that President Donald Trump should let Congress decide how to deal with DACA. Here is what Ryan told WCLO Janesville. I actually don't think he should, in DACA, and I believe that this is something Congress has to fix. Let me back up for a second. President Obama did not have the legislative authority to what he did. You can't, as an executive, write law out of thin air, and so that is very very clear. We've made that very clear. Having said all of that, there are people who are in limbo. These are kids who know no other country who were brought here by their parents and don't know another home and so I really do believe that there needs to be a legislative solution. That is one that we are working on, and I think we want to give people peace of mind and so I've had plenty of conversations with the White House about this issue. And I think the president as well has mentioned that he wants to have a humane s zero solution for this problem, and I think that is something that we in Congress are working on and need to deliver. Ryan says that he champions any willing worker and says that immigration levels should be kept high to make sure that wages stay low. Why doesn't he want DACA to be ended despite the fact that he thinks that it was illegally put in place? I'll let y'all answer that. Are you tired of Paul Ryan? Comment below, y'all. Let's send this snake in the grass a message. Right after landing in Houston, Trump walked up to this boy and shocked everyone. 
The media has called Trump a monster. They have called him a Russian puppet. Last week, they called him a white supremacist. They have said that he is unfit to be leader of the free world. It's very shocking the fact that ABC aired the footage of the president and the first lady after greeting children at the Energy Stadium in Houston. President Trump even hugged, kissed and played with the children and their toys. Via ABC News, President Trump and Melania and Gov. Abbott joined the children displaced by hashtag Harvey at the center in Houston. This is the second time that the president and the first lady have visited Texas since the Hurricane Harvey disaster. Melania and the president will visit Houston and Lake Charles, Louisiana on their trip. The president and first lady will be back here, in Texas, on Saturday at with the families, Vice President Mike Pence told ABC News Chief White House correspondent Jonathan Carl in Rockport, Texas. The media beats up on Trump too much. Help get these videos out there before the media spins it. Share this all over social media, patriots. Keep the energy going.